Hi guys, our topic today is mobile data speeds and why sometimes they're really slow. So I'm sure you already know what it feels like to connect your mobile phone to a Wi-Fi network, but when you're connected to a mobile network, the chances are that you're either connected to a 2G network, 3G network, 4G or 5G network. The internet that you get on your phone when connected to a 2G, 3G, 4G or 5G network is called mobile internet or mobile data. The latest network generation at the moment is 5G, which is enabled by a technology called New Radio or NR. Although 5G has already been released in many countries, but we still have 4G LTE networks that will continue for a very long time. Currently, the 4G networks have the highest penetration, which means that they are most widely available. In this video, we will look at some of the reasons why your mobile data speeds may be slow. One of the most common reasons why your mobile data speeds may be slow is that maybe you're using an old mobile phone. Now, it does not mean that you're using a 2G or 3G phone. You may still be using a 4G phone, but it may be an older version of a 4G phone. The 4G networks use a technology called LTE or long-term evolution. LTE was introduced in 2009, so it was a long time ago. Since then, the LTE technology has seen many enhancements. When LTE was introduced in 2009, it did not have as many capabilities as it does today. Since then, the LTE networks have gone through three types of changes. First one is around the antenna technology called MIMO or multiple input, multiple output. The second change is around the bandwidth using a technology called carrier aggregation or CA. And the third enhancement has been around the modulation technique used by the 4G LTE network. Since the introduction of LTE, we have seen technologies like LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced Pro. What LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced Pro did was that they continued improving on MIMO, the antenna technology, carrier aggregation, the bandwidth technology, and QAM or quadrature amplitude modulation, the modulation technique. It basically means that if you have a 4G phone that only could support the original LTE technology, it will not be able to give you the kind of speeds that a phone with LTE Advanced capability can offer. Similarly, if you have a phone that can support LTE Advanced Pro technology, then it can give you even higher data rates because it uses the latest MIMO technology, latest carrier aggregation, and latest modulation techniques. But how do you as a user know what kind of LTE phone you have? To make this easier for you, the mobile device manufacturers, like the phone manufacturers, have defined different categories of LTE phones. The higher the device category, the better your chances of getting high-speed mobile data using the 4G LTE network. The second reason why your mobile data speeds may be slow is that maybe you're not connected to the right network technology. What that means is that you have 2G, you have 3G, you have 4G, and you have 5G. If you're connected to the 5G network or 4G network, then of course you are expected to have higher data rates. But on the other hand, if you're connected mostly to the 2G network or 3G network, then your mobile data speeds will be very slow. If you bought your mobile phone recently, or maybe in the last few years, it's highly likely that you have a 4G enabled phone. If you bought your phone a couple of years ago, it's likely that your phone may even support the 5G technology. Now let's assume that you have a 4G compatible phone, then you want to make sure that most of the time you're connected to the 4G LTE network. It basically means that you should be able to see the 4G symbol on your mobile phone, just like this picture on my left. The 4G LTE networks can give you 50 to 100 Mbps on average. So even if your mobile operator does not offer the 5G network technology, you can still be okay when using the 4G networks. Now the situation that you want to avoid is that you don't want to see the HSPA symbol on your phone most of the time. Now even though the HSPA technology can offer you a peak data rate of 42 Mbps, the average speed of HSPA Plus or evolved HSPA is between 5 to 8 Mbps. Now if you have a 4G LTE compatible phone, and if most of the time you see the HSPA symbol on your phone, or even worse, if you see the E symbol on your phone, then maybe it's time for you to look at some other mobile network operators. The third reason why your mobile data speeds may be slow is that maybe you don't have the right network coverage in your area. 
For a normal user, it just means that maybe you're not getting the right number of signal bars on your mobile phone. When it comes to network coverage, you have to remember that just because you're getting full signal bars for a certain technology does not necessarily mean that you will get higher data rates. For example, if you're getting full signal bars, but for the 2G technology, like GSM, GPRS, or Edge, then your speeds are likely to be very slow. On the other hand, if you're connected to the 4G LTE network most of the time, but you're only getting one signal bar, for example, even then you can expect your data rates to be a little bit slow. But how do you make sure that you have the right network coverage in your area? The way to do that is that when you're choosing your mobile network operator, you have to make sure that you check their network coverage before selecting them. So what you can do is that you can go to their website and look at the coverage map and enter your location there just to see what kind of coverage they provide in your area and for which technologies. For example, if you find out that they provide great coverage for 3G but not for 4G, then you know that this operator is maybe not the right one for you. You want to choose a mobile network operator that can give you good indoors and outdoors 4G coverage at least. If you're new to all this and you don't really know how to check the network coverage, let's have a look at this example. So here we will use the example of Vodafone UK. So all I need to do is to go to Google search and write Vodafone coverage. And just hit enter. So as you can see on the screen, the first thing that pops up on my screen is network status checker. So I just click on that. Now it takes me to the coverage map. All I need to do here is to enter a location so let's type RG1 here, which is the postcode for an area called Reading in the UK. And if we hit enter now, you will see on the left side here, for example, that uh, we have the option to choose which technology we want to check the coverage for, and indoors and outdoors. So we have 2G, we have 3G, we have 4G, and we have 5G. So this is an example of how you use network coverage maps. The fourth reason why your mobile data speeds may be slow is because maybe your mobile network operator does not have the right network capacity. Network capacity basically means that maybe they don't have enough bandwidth to give you the resources that you need to access your mobile data. So let's say that you're always connected to the 4G network and you always have the full signal bars and yet you don't ever get more than 5 to 10 Mbps on your phone. If that happens with you constantly, it means that your mobile network operator does not have the right network capacity to serve the customers in your area. The easiest way to find that out is by comparing your mobile data speeds with the speeds that we're about to show you. So what you're seeing on the screen right now are the mobile data speeds that you get on average using 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G networks. If you are connected to the 4G LTE network most of the time, and if you get the full signal bar as well, and yet you don't get these speeds that you're seeing here, that means that your mobile network operator does not have the right network resources to give you the speeds that you need. The fifth reason why your mobile data speeds may be slow is maybe because you are not on the right tariff. Your mobile tariff determines what kind of services you're allowed to access. So it's possible that you see a mobile tariff that gives you unlimited minutes and texts and unlimited mobile data. However, it's possible that that mobile network operator locks you to either 3G network or 4G network or a certain speed, for example, maximum 2 Mbps. Mobile tariffs that have a speed cap or speed limit are generally a bit cheaper than the other tariffs. So if you're someone who is looking for a mobile data tariff that can give you higher data rates, then you want to make sure that you don't have any speed caps on your tariff. It's also possible that sometimes when you exceed your data allowance, it's possible for a mobile operator to throttle your data speeds. Data throttling basically means that your mobile operator sets a temporary limit on your mobile data speeds. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic. If you are interested, have a look at the link in the description below.